took me out to a shed and it was padlocked and we had to go through a couple of buildings uh, to get in there. And he had artifacts that he tells me that come out of the ark. Now, these articles that he had were petrified. He had some hasps, some door locks. He had one uh, door off of a cage or it was about uh, 40 inches high and about 36 inches wide or vice versa, whichever come off. And it was petrified and it was full of uh, blue moss and that uh, is, I suppose everything in there in the ark has some of this moss on it. And uh, he says when it first comes out in the spring, it's white like an old man's whiskers. And as it stays out or weathers or gets hung, it will turn blue like the rest of it. He has carbals that come out of the living quarters, he said, that uh, were hand-hewn and hand-carved. He has uh, some shepherd staff uh, crooks, or whatever they would call them, that are petrified. And one thing he told me never to break anything on the ark to these items that they have uh, was when the ark uh, broke in two, it's in two pieces now, so he told me, and uh, when it broke in two, they found these artifacts or uh, parts, and uh, they are very sacred and they're preserved and well kept. He says, uh, Everyone that goes there, that does see it, wants to break off some of it. And that is a no-no for them. And to this group, it is a very sacred and, uh, well, it's just... Very holy, really. Very holy. Mm -hmm. And uh, they... Uh, or trying to preserve it, he tells me that when the master comes, the light will shine over the ark.